in the name of Jesus drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season it is still dry season spiritually financially and otherwise I decree and declare let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall you welcome to another spirit filled message on christocentric message if you're new to this channel i would entreat you to hit on that subscribe button and then to like this video as well i would want you to share this message across because we believe that as this message is coming forth it's going to bless you your graces are going to be imparted onto you and then god is going to visit your home thank you for watching stay blessed something is going to change in your life and destiny i assure you please pray let it be from the depth of your heart I'm under the shadow of your wings Your influence is all over me I am under the shadow of your wings Your influence is all over me We are under the shadow of your wings your influence is all over us. Yeah. I am under the shadow of your wings. Your influence is all over us. We are all the shadow of your wings Your influence is all over us yeah. I, am, I am victorious I have Overcome, I am victorious. I have overcome, I am victorious. Mantles are falling here tonight. Anointings are falling here tonight Graces are falling here tonight For the kings to arise For revival to return For the kings to be born For revival to return Ali, Ali, oh Ali, oh Ali, Ali, oh Ali Ali O, oh, Ali O. Oh, oh. Open your mouth and begin to pray in the spirit. Are there men of prayer in Anambra State? Pray, let your spirit be open.
Are you praying? Sebrante kaparaka tos koto brante gete balatos. Sakre de bele gete balada barantas kadi balisa priya haskada. Embre gete paka pras kadi la kapras kusede gete bele katosia. Sende brante gete bele katos koto brante gete bele katapra haskada balada bos. Sabres kates 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 kates. Imbra kata parato koto prete kete bele kete prandos koto balatos. Sebrete kete bele ketos kate pranda kata pras kete bata. Imbra kata parotos koto prete kete baretos koto prete kete. Imbra kata pras kete bele kete pranda kata pros koto balakata. Sabra kata parata kata prete kete bele kete prato kotos. Sabranda kata skapras kete bele kato pros. Ebra kata branda kete bele kete pras koto bos. Zakata barada bakata branda kete kete bele kete. Imbra kata brantos koto pronto koto. Hare kete skade fras kade balantos koto bos. Rakata branda kete bele kato pronto koto bele kete. Imbra kate kato koto pronto koto bele kete kete. Sakata branda kete bele kato pronto koto bata kato koto branda kete. Sabranta kata branta kata branta kata palata tos koto bade. Sabre kata kata branto koto branto koto palata tos. Kata kata palata tos. Don't be distracted. Don't be distracted. Let your eyes be on Jesus. Si kata bere kata branto koto bras kata bata ka. Embra kata paroto koto branta kata palata tos. Sabranta skate kata palata tos koto. Embra kete parente ke pras koto barusia. Sabranda skate kete parika ti brandi ke belekos. Sabra kete pere kete pere kete balakatos. Sade brande kete pere kete prato kos koto brande ke parahasa de balata. Your life will never be the same. I assure you, your life will never be the same. You are about to encounter grace indeed. Sakete bereke tos kati la baranta ka prende gete balatosia. Sakrete ke parato katusa prende gete. Five more minutes. Don't be distracted. Imbra kete parato skoto prando koto prende gete beleke ta. Sabra kata baranta kas kata prende gete baratos. Imbra kata prege te berente kesko do protosha. Imbre te leke te prosa si ke te beleke ta. Sabra kata barandos ko do balaka toski adaba. Sabra ke te berke te ke te beleke te prandos ko do bakatos. Sabra kata bari ke te prende ke te berke tos ko do prata. Ibra kata kata prata kata prata kata balaka tosha kata. Sakrete kas koto prata brash kali prata kata balados. Sabrende kete bele kete pros koto prata balaka to prende kete bele kata. Sakrete kete prati kete bele kete pros kati balados. Manda prata tapara katos koto prende kete bele kete skadiata. This is part of the meeting. Sate prende skate bele kete praka tos kate prende kete. Awake thou that sleepest. Manda prende kete para katos koto prende kete palata. Embra kata prende katos. Awake thou that sleepest. Manda praka tapa kata praka tapa kete. Sabra kete prate kete pere kete os koto prate kete. Sabre kete pele kete prate kete pele tosia. Sabre kete pele kete para tos kati prate kete pala. Hallelujah. Raise 
God and God alone. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now unto the Lamb upon the throne. We raise a sound. We raise a sound. Over the nations of the earth. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Hallelujah 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 Now please I want you to listen very carefully because your life is truly about to change Hallelujah Hallelujah now hear me there are people who will start running by the anointing i want you to hold them and bring them out i want to release a grace for speed like physically delay help them so they don't injure themselves i stretch my hand by the rod of the apostolic and the prophetic everyone here hold them ushers please be sensitive in the name of jesus whether you are an usher or not by the power that raised christ from the dead every yoke of delay bring them out I decree and declare, let the grace for speed and ambra state. I stand by this apostolic anointing. May that grace rest upon you now. Take that grace now. Take that grace now. Life to your ears. Please don't come out at random. It's the spirit of God that is bringing them out. Bring them out. No more delay. Regardless what has kept you, I release you by the spirit of grace. Ten years in one year. Ten years in one year. Ten years in one year. Sakra takata pakata. Grapentas katalakataba. Every altar of delay that has tied down any destiny here. Every altar of delay that has tied down any individual at the count of three, I want you to shout the name Jesus and fire will come upon you. Bring them out, please. Whether you are an usher or not, help the ushers. Are you ready now? One, two, three, shout Jesus. I command a release. I prophesy a release by the spirit of grace. Anambrasted, something is happening to your soil. Brandeke parakatos kadiapa. Embreke de katus kote brandeke de. Listen to me. I want to prophesy to you. Everything that was lost shall be returned unto you. Everything that was stolen shall be restored unto you everything that was lost shall be returned unto you everything that was stolen everything that was lost and everything that was stolen now hear me please listen carefully don't be distracted as i walked into this place i was hearing the sounds of chains that was what i was hearing chains that have held families down chains that have held many for many generations i'm about to release you by the spirit now hear me at the count of three if god be god as you shout jesus every altar over an umbra, i stand by the rod of the apostolic and the prophetic 
by ancestry and inheritance and witchcraft for the bible says now the lord is that spirit and it says where the spirit of the lord is there is liberty are you ready to shout at the count of three bring them out one two three shout jesus i command those altars release them now release your destinies now gates be broken bars of iron be broken gates be broken bars of iron be broken gates be broken bars of iron be broken patterns of darkness be broken Lord, you took my shame away and then you gave me joy. You're my peace, my melody in the center of the storm. You gave me a brand new song to sing to you. That's why I will lift up my voice and sing Yeah, yeah, yeah Yeah, yeah, yeah Taking the pain and the sorrow away You've given me peace undeniable There's no need to cry cause you're always with me You're my father, my everything You know it now Oh man, my Hallelujah. Who is Chidozie? I'm hearing a name Chidozie. Is there someone with that name? We have to hurry up tonight. Who is Chidozie? I'm hearing. I presume there might be many people. You are wearing a yellow like a t-shirt. This is what I'm seeing in the spirit, like a yellow, is it a t-shirt or something of that sort? She does it. Is there someone like that? Don't worry, allow the chidoses to come, but there is a particular one I'm seeing. You are wearing like a yellow t-shirt. God wants to turn your life around. What do you do, my friend? Do we have another mic? Please help us. Let's make it ready. Onyeka. Whose name is Onyeka? I'm hearing the name Onyeka. The season is about to open to you. Onyeka. I don't know if it's male or female, but I'm seeing a male in my vision. Please make sure you don't just come out at random. What do you do, my friend? Huh? She does the only the car. Yes, sir. I want to pray for you. Your life is about to change. I don't know you from anywhere, but my friend, there is a name that is above every other name, and God wants to bring visitation for you. Hallelujah. Now hear me. 
there is a lady who will shout loud in the congregation to the hearing of everyone please bring that lady here now right now as i'm speaking a loud shout father i pray for you i'll just pray for all of you in general there's a lot for us to do in the name of jesus you don't have to kneel by the power that raised christ from the dead there's one of you the mighty power of god is coming on you now one of you in front here and the lord is telling me after that encounter then i pray for all of you in the name of jesus christ may your life never be the same i release you the miracles and the blessings allotted for your various families in the name of jesus step into it right now by the power of the holy spirit in jesus name i pray the lord is showing me a woman we'll be praying for the sick shortly but the lord is showing me a woman one two three four five years exactly five years you've been trusting god for the fruit of the womb who is that your story is about to change please come quickly let's save time hmm. Please don't come out at random. There's order in the house of God. Make sure that you understand what we're saying. My friend, look at me. What happened to you? Who is with the mic? Please teach the people what to do so that... Hold on. Madam, look at me. This woman. Shout Jesus. Out of her now. The name of Jesus. What happened to you, my friend? Another accident. You are from Anambra here? Yes, sir. Where, how long? Last year. June 2nd, last year. What happened to your leg? I had accident. Is it a fracture? That's what I'm asking. No, not a fracture. I have a, a stroke after the other day. I have a stroke. Do you believe in the power of the Holy Spirit? Yes. This is witchcraft. Lift the rod. Lift it up. Just do what I'm asking you to do. Lift your... Lift it up. Walk. 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 Lift it up. Just do what I'm asking you to do. Walk. I rebuke that stroke. Are you celebrating Jesus here? Hallelujah. Now, these women here, please place your hand. You are trusting God for the fruit of the womb. Listen, this is not just the display of the anointing on a man. This is Jesus Christ visiting a territory to glorify his son. Are we together? Now, I'm standing, God bless you, sir. This healing, this, because I'm looking at you. It was not just an accident. In the vision, I'm seeing you lying down on a bed completely half of you has gone paralyzed this is what the devil wanted to bring but god has brought your deliverance now god bless you sir now i want to pray for all of you please look at me i don't care what the medical report is you see every challenge is at the mercy of the kind of grace that confronts it challenges are not generic they depend on what grace confronts it i decree and declare most of you this demonic thing called delay is witchcraft by the power that raised christ from the dead right now i release you now release them now in the name of jesus help them i lose you now now be loose now be loose now in the name of jesus christ according to the time of life i prophesy to you that in the name of jesus return with your miracle children let there be a correction of everything that is wrong biologically a correction right now in the name of Jesus Christ it is over in the name of Jesus that nine months from now you will return with miracle children to the glory of the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ God bless you the Lord is revealing something to me that I need to pray for you can go back to your seat for this ones I want to pray for you and I want you to bring those people out there is a spirit that is at work in families 
where it is the women that take care of the men no matter how responsible no matter how supposedly productive something seems to happen that bring the man down the power of god is resting i'm seeing at least eight people right now bring them out i decree and declare in the name that is above all names by that the power that raised christ from the dead i cost that spirit now i'm not, no 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 i'm not saying come out at random listen understand what happens when i mention a case like this the very power of god will locate you and then if i do ask to come out you bring them out so that we don't make this place rowdy that's all right just leave them since they are already out madam look at me this woman stand up what's your name huh? i want to pray for you you believe in the power of the holy spirit the lord is setting you free from everything that represents witchcraft i stretch my hands towards you this out of her now in the name of jesus help her please help her just hold her so we don't just just hold and keep her in one place i release you in the name of jesus christ i release you in the name of jesus christ i release you in the name of jesus christ i release you in the name of jesus christ now the lord is showing me people here whose families have been stagnated in one position you love jesus you are sincere people some of you are even ministers of the gospel there is somebody who is bearing the same name with dr cosmas your name too is cosmas come come out i just saw that in a vision that your name just like this man please make sure you don't tell lies if there is that person here let me see that person i want to pray with you the lord just ministered to me that there is someone that has that name and if it happens to be your loved one also i don't know how we're going to do it now but i need to pray and respond very quickly your name is also cosmos god wants to pray for you and then i'm hearing who is vivian vivian i'm hearing the name vivian I want to pray a general prayer but there are three people who will shout right now under the anointing the Lord is taking away the spirit of death from their family right now this is this is what I saw in my vision please help them bring them out bring them out the spirit of death oh death where is your sting and oh grave where is your victory there is power in the name of jesus there is power in the name of jesus to break every chain spirit of death in the name of jesus oh death where is your sting and oh grave where is your victory everyone here as an individual or as a family under the siege of death patterns of death every year every two two years someone must die by the power of in the name of jesus i set those altars on fire now on fire now Who is Vivienne? All of you? Who is from Imo State? Imo State. Where are you from? Imo State. I want to pray for you. I'll pray for all of you, but I want to pray for you. Because where are your loved ones? Your family members? I want to pray for you. So that somebody, I'm seeing somebody from Imo to Port Harcourt, having a ghastly motor accident a car turning over and they are saying survived by but who shall say a thing and it comes to pass when the Lord has not commanded it 
in the name of Jesus Christ I pray for you that that demonic thing that the devil is killing by the blood of the eternal covenant I declare your complete deliverance and for all of you who have come out by the Spirit my friend what do you do huh? I'm a public servant I also have a car shop look at me go and register a company there is a strange grace for wealth that God is going to bring on you hear what I'm telling you look at me do you believe in the prophetic Yes, sir. in the name of Jesus I stretch my hands receive that grace right now I launch you I release you into that dimension of grace even by the Spirit of God and for all of you who are standing here I stretch my hands towards you may the power of the Holy Spirit rest upon you and open up new chapters of your destiny in the name of Jesus Christ receive that grace right now hallelujah please return back to your seat now hear me I'm going to pray a very strange prayer now and when you pick those people I want them in front here there are people I'm seeing an eagle there are people called into a strange order of the prophetic the end time prophetic ministry some of you may not even know I'm about to pray that grace and that mantle is about to rest upon you please help them help them so they don't do careless things please Oh, my friend, what is your name? What do you do? I'm a student. Come and stand here. I want to pray for you. There is a very strange grace that you will carry. But look at me. Be careful with association, right? Love people who are believers and be very serious. May the Lord help you in the name of Jesus. Even as God has helped your father, may God help you and lift you to become a sign and a wonder. In the name of Jesus Christ. Please bring those people here. I decree and declare right now, everyone anointed to be in the prophetic, I decree and declare, may that man to wherever you are, from the front to the back, from my left to my right, young and old, step into that anointing now. Step into that anointing now. Step into that anointing now. The eyes that see, the ears that hear, I ignite your spirit man, hear the sights and the sounds of the spirit, in the name of Jesus Christ. A new season, a new season, a new season for your Christian experience. A new season for your prophetic encounters. The Lord will raise you, mighty men over Anambra, mighty men like the men of David, men of fire, in the name of Jesus Christ. Now, hear me, please look up. Please, everyone, let me have your attention. I want to tell you something very prophetic right now. There are three groups of people. God is raising over Anambra State in this season. Write it down and listen carefully. Number one, there will be a strange manifestation of the ministry of prophetic intercessors. Hear me, as I'm mentioning it, that anointing will be resting on those called into that dimension. Prophetic intercessors, there will be women of fire, women who understand the art of the altar. Hear me many women intercessory groups will arise by the spirit women who will pray revival men will be affected but there will be many women daughters of zion i ignite your spirit man i connect you with the mantle of the intercessor Give him no rest until he establishes Jerusalem as a praise. That is number one. The mantle of the intercessor is resting upon Anambra. Men and women 
you will see people who understand how to pray strategic prophetic intercessory prayers that can bring the program of God to bear some of you may be weak but you are stepping into seasons of intense consecration intense consecration no more distraction intense consecration the Bible says seeing then that we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses let us lay aside every weight and the sin that doth easily beset us and he says to run with perseverance the race set before us may you endure the consecration of an intercessor may you receive the burden of an intercessor that you will pray the program of God like Anna the prophetess like Simeon the prophet number two the second group of people that God is raising hear me please in a very strange way there are two unique ministries that God is um, I would not say bringing it for the first time but God is emphasizing two unique ministries in Anambra State number one is the ministry of evangelism number two is the ministry of the teacher these two ministries this is what God revealed to me he's restoring the evangelistic in his strength and power most of the evangelism we do in our territory is just a byproduct of a man's commitment but there are people anointed oh god pack the crusade grounds again oh god pack the amphitheaters again until genuine revival falls upon this land where are the revivalists may that man to rest upon you may that man to rest upon you rest upon your campuses rest upon the entire local government that make up an Anambra state strange evangelism with power with signs and with wonders hear me I'm not announcing this so that you would just sweep it under the carpet is what the Spirit of God wants to do I had a little nap this afternoon please look up I had a little nap this afternoon after the morning session and I saw a very strange vision this is what I saw I saw like a river and then I saw a strange spirit just came out of the river it's like that spirit has been hidden in that river for a long time and it made people to practice certain things and maybe a season came where people prayed that thing away but I saw a reemergence, a reemergence of that spirit again and the Lord told me that I should pray that there is a spirit that will start making young men to start joining cult groups and associations because of wealth that there is a restoration of a, an ancient spirit this is what I saw father we decree and declare that every spirit that is not of the Christ I prophesy to the length and the breadth of an umbra state we speak lift up your heads oh ye gates ancient doors for the king of glory is making a triumphant entry over a number of stage therefore we prophesy maranatha come lord jesus over the land of a number of state maranatha upon the campuses maranatha upon the churches in the name of jesus christ The Lord 
is reintroducing the evangelistic and the teaching grace i repeat the teaching grace hear me the only way believers become matured is through the sound exegesis of doctrine if believers do not have a platform regardless the church where the precepts of the kingdom are methodically communicated there will be bankruptcy of growth within that territory according to jeremiah 3 15 and i will give you pastors that are according to my heart and they shall feed you with wisdom and with knowledge therefore i'm praying right now some of you are men of god some of you may seem like ordinary individuals lord where are those who you will open their eyes to the spirit of revelation access to the mysteries of the kingdom the grace of a teacher some of you are heading fellowship groups some of you are pastors already you have struggled with communicating doctrine i pray for you by the power that raised christ from the dead step into a new dimension of spiritual understanding a new dimension of spiritual understanding churches youth groups apostolic and prophetic platforms prayer groups step into superior dimensions of accurate understanding of the precepts of the kingdom in the name of jesus christ now listen very carefully i want to give you the third i told you the first kind of people that god is raising are prophetic intercessors the second they are ministers but two ministries particularly the evangelistic and the revelatory grace number three in a very strange way god is raising end time financial apostles that was why god brought dr cosmos many of you may that's why i told you that what he was doing was not an interruption to the program when i sat there i said this man is truly a spiritual man he was not just shaking you it was an extension of something the bible calls the hand of fellowship there are realms that you don't enter financially by buying and selling you are brought into it by those who carry the grace now i want to pray for you there are many men and women here you came for this meeting listen listen when we talk about the issue of finances i can assure you on time that many people have disappointed god it's easy like we dealt with yesterday to cry and roll under the anointing and say lord empower me do you know what it means to be a billionaire and yet still love the lord when i saw the man of god rolling on the ground and doing what he was doing i said how many billionaires who became billionaires through the dignity of kingdom integrity can have the open-heartedness to roll before jesus when david began to dance at the return of the ark saul's daughter looked at him and said why are you dancing undignifiably you are bringing shame to your status his reply i am dancing before the god who took the kingdom from your father and gave it to me god had that query and she died a barren woman hear me god is not looking for materialistic people god is not looking for people whose obsession about wealth is just to have cars and houses and end respect no god is looking for men and women who he will trust as his treasurers in this kingdom and in this end time men and women whose hearts will never be connected to these resources and yet they will lay up gold as dust i want to release that grace and by a prophet the lord god brought israel out of egypt and by a prophet were they preserved he said believe in the lord your god 
Hear me. Anambra State is arguably the business hub of this nation. So you are not naive and ignorant when it has to do with the principles that make for wealth and abundance. Many of you here were raised ethically and culturally to understand money and finances. I'm not here to downplay your pedigree, but hear me. There is a dimension of wealth that comes through providing values and services. But there is a dimension of wealth that comes through the power of the prophetic. It's an advantage to believers. I want to release something upon someone now. I'm standing in partnership with Dr. Cosmas on that grace, the grace that, had, that lifted him and brought him to this position. Lord, there is someone in this auditorium that you, are, you have anointed. There has to be a man and a woman, someone you will be using as a financial apostle to fund your end time project. Spirit of the living God, where are these individuals? I decree and declare from the front to the back. From my left to my right, may that mantle that came upon Joseph and distinguish him economically, may that mantle that came upon Solomon, I release that grace upon you now. I release that grace upon you now the grace to lay up gold as dust and yet your heart still connected to the things of God may that grace rest upon you now hear me some of you by reason of what has come upon you tonight There are people you were not supposed to meet, but God will direct your steps. And that one connection will open you up to a world of finances. May it be so for you in the name of Jesus. Now hear me, everyone under the sound of my voice, before we get to the next thing to do, open your mouth in one minute and prophesy that I am advancing everything that has tied me down at the same level ministerially I decree and declare here at this conference this apostolic invasion over Anambra state declare your exodus I move forward in ministry I go forward I break boundaries in the name of Jesus is someone praying Someone is praying. Why seekest ye the living among the dead? God is lifting you. God is lifting you from that level. They will search for you where you were yesterday and not find you there again. Spiritually. Hallelujah. 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 What do you do? This man. Yes. Are you a pastor? Come. Your life is about to change. You are a pastor in Anambra here? Yes, sir. You, you, you pastor a church? Yes, sir. Your own church that God has given you? Or you're a resident pastor. Or you're a resident pastor? Yes, sir. I want to pray for you. I've not prayed that grace yet, but I will start with you. There is a strange grace for signs and wonders that you are about to move into. It will be such a phenomenal display of the power of God. I stretch my hands towards you. 
in the name of Jesus you will drink of that wine the Lord will turn you to become like another man in the name of Jesus Christ supernatural display of signs and wonders receive that grace now now in the name of Jesus Christ you will never be the same this is by the spirit of grace hallelujah I don't know who but I'm hearing before we pray for the sick I'm hearing that there is someone here the Lord wants me to minister to is it your father or so you lost that person January January who is that because I'm seeing another death occurring next month and the Lord is saying to cancel it who is that person please run quickly who is that your father died yes sir january yes sir. where are you from Obosi. i want this to pray anambra for you state. where is this an this anambra state anambra state yes. Jesus knows all about our struggles. He will die until the day is gone. There's not a friend. In the name of Jesus Christ. That plague of death you don't have to kneel by the power that raised Christ from the dead everything that sponsors the manifestation of the spirit of death here in this conference we agree as the church of the Lord Jesus Christ this woman I'm seeing an anointing come on her this one who is kneeling right now I'm seeing an angel pour oil on this woman on her knees in the name of Jesus the Lord is saying he's opening a door that has been closed over your life I release that grace right now. May that door be open now. In the name of Jesus. Father, in the name that is above all names, everything that wants oppression to arise the second time over these families, we cancel it now in Jesus' name. We cancel it now in Jesus' name. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it well. Is there a name like Chide Berem? Is, does it make sense? Is there something like that? Chide, who is that? I just had Chide Berem. It's like you're a woman. I don't know if it's male or female now. Who is that? Please make sure you are not telling lies. Well, can somebody verify that they are telling? It ends with an M. Is M. Does it make sense? If I'm making a mistake, forgive me. I'm just telling you what I'm hearing. Chide Berem. Huh? I want to pray for you. Because for one of you here, the month of July will be a strange month for your family. Very strange month. God is going to open doors in a way that will surprise you father i pray for these people i don't know who that person is but i stretch my hands right now please don't be offended i'm not a prophet of doom but there is somebody god is asking me i have to pray for you now you were supposed to inherit and i don't mean with all due respect to every culture represented here but I'm seeing somebody, it's like there is a shrine. You are supposed to inherit it. I don't know if it's from your father or something. You, they told you, you are the person. Who is that? You are the one? I have to pray for you. This thing has destroyed this man's life. I must pray for you. Hallelujah, thank the glory. Hallelujah, amen. Hallelujah, thank the glory. Revive us again. Hallelujah.
Hallelujah, thine the glory. Hallelujah, Amen. Hallelujah, thine the glory. We give ever again. Someone right now is being healed of fibroid. I'm, I'm going to pray for the sick shortly, but I just saw it as I sang this song the second time. You will feel movement physically right now as I'm speaking in your stomach. You will know that something is leaving you. Father, in the name of Jesus, my sister, look at me, this lady, tap her for me. Shout Jesus as loud as you can. I decree and declare can I tell you there is nobody who should be forced to worship any shrine or whatever it is even Jesus Christ knocks at the door of your heart and waits for you to be open nobody should barge into your destiny using whatever guys I use you as a point of contact every evil that this plague is bringing to you to make sure that you have to go and bow to whatever demonic practices in the name of Jesus Christ, I declare you free now. I declare you free now. May the light of the glorious gospel penetrate to all who are concerned and let there be liberty from the practice of witchcraft. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Name of Jesus Christ. You all return to your seats in the name of Jesus. Now I want to pray for the sick. You are trusting God. You came here trusting God for a miracle in your body. I want you to lay your hands right there. I believe in the power of the Holy Spirit. Jesus is able to heal. Can I tell you? When I saw again, I would use him. Dr. Cosmas jumping here. Jumping like a little boy. Some of you who are younger than his last child may not be able to jump up. I saw our father, Bishop Onugogo jumping and literally jogging to come up here this is 83 going 84 there is a grace not only for longevity but for health i want to pray that grace upon you now please listen carefully there are people here you have struggled with sickness and infirmity one of the ministries that must be restored before jesus returns is the healing ministry there is never a testimony of genuine revival without a manifestation of the healing power of Jesus. Can I tell you why the healing ministry is important? I will tell you. Everyone is given the privilege of having one body per lifetime. You are only entitled to one body per lifetime. No, 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 no. Don't bring them out until I ask you to. Please, take them back. Now, this woman I'm seeing, is that cancer? Who brought her? Is that cancer? What is it? What's who brought her? Somebody should give us. Ah, huh? she came herself. I brought her. My elder sister. What happened? She had a heart condition from childhood around from my three from my four. It had issues over. Yes, around 2009, she was flown to the U.S. where she they performed the heart surgery on her. She came back; it continued up till now. Then, before you knew it, I think it affected some of her organs. Her belly started inflammating, like a lot of things. That's how she she just became complicated like this. Sir. We are trusting. We are planning to attend last miracle service, but we couldn't attend it. Even this Sunday, we are planning to to attend Koinonia Abuja. This Sunday, this coming Sunday, and all of a sudden from Niger State where I'm serving, I just rushed home. I took night bus, came back this this morning, and then we are at the hospital. They just told us you are here. No plans. We didn't know you are coming to Oka, and that is how we that is how we just came here this evening, sir. Jesus, the Son of God, I believe in you. Now, look at this. Look at this beautiful lady. A young lady like this, plagued with all kinds of demonic things. 
not given an opportunity to live a meaningful life this is how you carry her around huh this is how you carry her around yes sir She's your elder sister. My direct elder sister. Even my brother is here. The first person we should celebrate is you, not even her. For having that heart and that love for her. I'm going to be praying for the sick shortly. Now, please hear me. You don't have to walk away with any infirmity you came here with tonight. It's unnecessary. You see, let me tell you this. Before you believe a man, find out about him. Jesus left us his scripture the word of God so that we can go through it and then we'll leave I didn't come alone I've got a message from the Lord hallelujah a message unto you I bring and Ambra hear me it is recorded in his word hallelujah it is only that you look and leave Look and leave my brother leave. Look to Jesus Christ and leave. It is recorded in his word. Hallelujah. It is only that you look and leave. Place your hand right there where you are trusting God for a miracle. If it's a part of your body you cannot touch please lay your hands on your chest if it's a part of your body you cannot touch now two things will happen here right now two things we're working with time so that we don't keep you unnecessarily long watch this I am going to pray for you right now some of you even whilst you were under the anointing all kinds of miracles have happened to you I'm going to be praying for you right now and releasing the healing power of Jesus Please may I request maybe one or two pastors to come stand here with the mic because as soon as I pray for you, the moment the power of God touches you and you see that you are healed, I am going to request that you check yourself and you run and come and stand here. Some of you already, the power of God has touched you. We will take a few testimonies here and then the next thing we'll get into is praying over the request. So make sure while you are standing, if you are yet to write your request, everyone, or if you are yet to contact your loved ones to send in their request, you still have a minute or two to do that. And then the final prayer and impartation, and then I will be done. Hallelujah. Now please listen, no distraction. I want to pray for the sick. I have been sick myself. I know what it means to be oppressed of the enemy. But then I know what it means also to experience the victory and the triumph that comes in and through Christ. Lay your hands, please. Everyone, if you came with a sick person here, here is your moment to lay your hands on those people. Take your eyes away from the sickness and look up to Jesus. And as I pray, I'd like you to open up your spirit and shout a believing amen. And believe that that which plagues you will give way right now. Take my body, my soul, my spirit, breathe on me. Just hold the person there. I'm about to pray. I'm seeing them trying to bring somebody out. No, please. Don't, don't stress anyone. Ushers or protocol, guide them. Just keep the people somewhere there. I will pray for them. You are the Holy Ghost, the Holy Ghost, the Holy Ghost, the Holy Ghost. Take your place, take your place, take your place. Take your place. There will be a loud shout by a lady right now. Immediately after that shout, the healing power of Jesus will begin to flow. I don't know why the Holy Spirit does this thing sometimes. It's a ministry of signs and wonders. 
a loud shout to the hearing of everybody the power of God will come upon a lady now I begin to pray in the name of Jesus Christ my God something is happening here in the name of Jesus Christ help those under the anointing you don't have to bring them out healing is happening right now help them my God please help them so they don't enjoy themselves in the name of Jesus Christ every spirit at the back of any infirmity I come in the name of Jesus the son of the living God and I decree and declare be lifted from the life of these people now and I declare over your body be healed in Jesus name be healed in Jesus name from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet I bring you life and healing right now help them please I rebuke every devil of infirmity cancer be healed in Jesus name fibroid be healed in Jesus name migraine God is healing migraines be healed in Jesus name now there is someone I don't know if you have a problem with your mind madness or some kind of um, psychosomatic issue the power of God is coming upon you right now in the name of Jesus heart conditions be healed right now in Jesus name there's someone your right eye severe pain you cannot see well I command that eyes to be open now every blind eyes here represented be open in the name of Jesus every deaf ear be open in the name of Jesus anyone having any bone condition or any issue that is affecting your mobility be healed now in the name of Jesus the Lord is showing me someone I don't know if it's boils like an allergy something you have in your skin very terrible condition the power of God is touching you right now are you shouting a believing amen I'm seeing a lady the right side of your breast you have a lump I command that lump to disappear now the Lord is healing hepatitis hepatitis B be healed right now in the name of Jesus there is a condition called gastritis in the name of Jesus I declare healing for such a person there's someone you can walk but you are having severe difficulty because around your lumbar area here there is severe pain this man is a man of God the power of God is touching you right now wherever you are in the name of Jesus Christ particularly I'm seeing someone the left side of your ear you couldn't hear very well right now I command that ear to pop open now I'm seeing someone with pains around your kneecap your kneecap particularly please help those under the anointing there in the name of Jesus Christ be healed right now there is a gentleman you are not able to lift your hands up to this level I think I don't know what is the problem lift it up right now I bring you life and healing life and healing life and healing life and healing in the name of Jesus there is someone I don't know what happened to you but it's like you don't smell completely nothing exactly is wrong with your nose but it's like your sense of smell there's something wrong with it the power of God is resting upon you right now and God is bringing restoration now whether I mention your case or not be healed in the name of Jesus 
I'm seeing, I'm seeing someone, you, you have a loved one who has kidney issues. You have a loved one who has a kidney issue. Right now, the power of God is touching that person. And if there are those connecting in hospitals across this nation and across the globe, I bring you the life and the power of Jesus right now. Be healed in the name of Jesus. Whether you are following life or you are watching a rebroadcast by the power that raised Christ from the dead, be healed in Jesus' name. Waste pain, severe pain around the waist area is being healed right now. Now, even though I have prayed for pregnant women, but the Lord is showing you a woman, something happens to you every time you take in. You go to bed and you have a very strange dream. And the next thing you begin to bleed and that's the end of that pregnancy. The power of God right now as I'm speaking is resting upon you. An end comes to that oppression. Heart palpitations. Be healed in the name of Jesus. HIV. Be healed in the name of Jesus. Every kind of recurring sickness. Be healed in the name of Jesus. Blood disease. Blood disease. Be healed in the name of Jesus. If there is anyone here who is a sickler, I stand by the anointing of the Holy Spirit. We change your genotype now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now hear me. This is what I want you to do. My goodness. There are so many miracles I already see now. I want you to check yourself this moment. The moment you find out that something has happened to you. I want you to run. Either to the front here. Those who are standing, wave your hands so they will see you. Begin to come out right now. Miracles are happening. Anambra stage. Are you celebrating Jesus? Creator of the universe. What can you do? Celebrate Jesus. What can you do? Jesus. Creator of faith. Creator of the universe. What can you do? What can you do? Keep coming. Keep coming. Celebrate what Jesus is doing here. You're the name above every other name. What can you change? What can you change, Jesus? You are able, great and mighty God. You are able, Jesus. You are able, great and mighty God. You are able. coming Jesus look what God is doing hallelujah Sir. now hear me I'm going to pray I'm going to pray for the request shortly so ushers please begin to go around if you are yet to submit your request I want you to wave it up let the usher see it now pass it to the person anybody by your left and right to make it easy for the ushers nobody will read your request please worship team when we take a few testimonies here I want one of you prepare and come and give us one hot Igbo song here. One, one song that will announce to principalities and powers that there is a visitation. Make sure you know what you come and sing here. Are we together now? Hallelujah. Amen. I see people still submitting that. I think we should do it now. Two minutes. One hot Igbo song. Who is, who is handling it? Please help them, help them. Let's save time. Anambra said, Keep coming.
Hallelujah. Please be seated for one minute while you submit your prayer request. Yes, please. Yes, sir. Listen very carefully to the following testimonies. Yes, please. Sir, she said from a tender age. She what, has once, been, once you bring them, just turn them so we can. From okay. A, from a tender age, she has been having severe migraine. Severe migraine. From a tender from age. From a tender age. But as soon as you prayed. What happened to you now, my dear? Um, throughout today, I've been having. Help us with the mic. Yes. Throughout today, I've been having this aura of headache. I've been having migraine since the past three days. And right now. I am okay, perfectly In the fine. name of Jesus Christ, perfection for you. In Jesus' name. Next person, very quickly. Praise God. I've been jogging, but after a while, I developed knee pain. But while you mentioned the knee, don't Completely, fight. jump now. Jump. Any pain? Any pain? Are you celebrating miracles? Now, when, when the people come, just turn them so the congregation can see who is talking. Yes, let's have somebody there. Go ahead. Very quickly, pastor. Yes. Straight to the point, anyone who is ready, let's save time. Okay, my name is Kindness. I have this eye problem. I've been using glasses for the five years now. Eye problem? Yes. For how long? Five years. Yes. And right now? Yes, I've got to my Oh, come on. Praise the name of the Lord. Yes. I have to get my green since I was in primary I'm on low court. Oh, you're on low court yes. because of it. Yes. And what happened now? Oh Completely. Give Jesus praise for the mighty things that he's doing. Yes, please. Go ahead. Praise the Lord. I had a stroke last year, March. You had a stroke? Last year, March. Yes. And since then, I've been undergoing physiotherapy. Yes. The paralysis on the left hand. Yes. So I've been working severely to see that I lift this hand without so much yes. stress. So as you were ministering, I fell under the anointing and now I can lift the hand. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Put it down, madam. Lift it up again. Put it down. Lift it up. Oh, come on and I'm brought safe. Are you giving Jesus praise? We rebuke that devil of stroke. It will never return to you again. In Jesus' name, man of God, yes, please, quickly. Praise the Lord. This young man has been having severe Just knee pains for over one year. Severe knee pain. On both knees. And but right now. It's totally gone. Check yourself. Totally gone. Completely gone. In the name of Jesus, it never returns to you again. Yes, please. Sir, the lady said when you prayed for fibroid, she felt a move in her stomach. And she has been having... How long have you had the fibroid? For four years now. For four years. Go to the hospital and check yourself. We declare perfection for you. In the mighty name of Jesus she Christ. Also prayed, yes, she also please. had waist pain for three years and is also totally gone. Waist pain, gone completely. In the name of Jesus Christ. Um, um, I had breast lump. What's your name, my dear? My name is Faith. Is okay. I had breast lump and my I've God, are you seeing twice. so many miracles? For a man of God here, beginning from tonight, the next time you climb your altar in the name that is above all names, the fire that you have seen from this conference, may you take that fire back to your assembly. May you take Abaka Baratosia. Everything you have seen here, the grace to reproduce it, let it be released upon you in the name of Jesus Christ. She has been operated on the, her breast twice. Oh, they've operated your breast. Talk yes, to us. I've had breast lump. First, they operated it grew back. Second, they operated it grew back. And then I noticed. Oh, you had a lump. They operated it and it grew back. What happened right now? I reset it grew back recently. I was already planning on going to surgery and stuff, but I and can't what correctly find anyone now. <laughs> Yes, please. Um, this young man. Praise the living God. 2005, I had a uh, joint dislocation on my right hip joint. Yes. When you were praying about um, joint problem, waist problem, and bones problem, I felt a great relief. Even this morning, I took medicine while coming down. What couldn't you do? I couldn't run. I couldn't my friend, run. Let the devil see you. Give Jesus praise. Are you celebrating Jesus? That is how you will run to your blessings. 
that is how you will run to your destiny and every power that has limited you in the name of Jesus it must give way tonight shout a loud hallelujah yes please praise the Lord my name is Daniel I'm an evangelist I used to have stash in my body the thing used to disturb me even if I go out to preach God you used to have I what would, I used to have stash in my body the okay. thing will be scratching me if I take from my tail, if you take my skin all of it it has bleached me if I take what happened to you now now I felt so hot when you were singing and the pain have left me I'm not feeling scratched. completely yes thank you Jesus. in the name of Jesus Christ are you ready yes she has Blood vision from childhood. Blood vision. You couldn't see. What's your name? I used to have blood vision. I don't used to see if I have this long side. Long okay. Side but immediately after prayer, I removed. What my couldn't glasses. you see clearly? I don't used to see far. I okay. Used to wear glasses so that yes. I pick up things that are far. Right now. But immediately after prayer, I removed my glasses and I you removed your glasses yes, and you could see now. Yes, sir. In the name of Jesus. That demonic thing would never return to you again. Yes, sir. Very quickly. Praise the Lord. I used to have pain on my legs. Sometimes I wear bandages, many drugs. After everything, I'll still be having leg pains. But when the man of God was praying, my leg felt very heavy. And now I'm very free. Completely. It will never return to you again in the name of Jesus. Very quickly. Praise the Lord. He couldn't stand. Like oh, that boy that you were trying to bring out here. Oh my God, look at the boy could not walk. The boy could not walk. Some of you saw him there. Look at this. What happened to him? Hold on. What happened to him? In December, he saw Please hold on. Can you help us amplify that, that mic less? In December, when yes. we were writing the exam, he suddenly started uh, dragging his left feet. Yes. And we noticed that the left arm was now like this. So we went to the hospital and he was diagnosed of brain tumor. He was diagnosed of a brain tumor. So he couldn't walk. Yes. What's his name? Suriel. 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 Can he Zuriel. hear me? Suriel. Look at me. Come. Walk. Walk. Oh my God. Oh my God. Look at. Listen. You see. Hold on. The Bible says how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power. Look at a little boy like this. If the devil can oppress a little boy like this, there is no limit to what he can do if allowed. Stretch your hands, everybody, as the church of the Lord Jesus Christ over this, our dear son. And let's declare perfection. We have just about five minutes or so. Very quickly, stretch your hands. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, oppression will not arise a second time. You have brought perfection to this boy. It remains so. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. Give Jesus praise. Yes, please. Uh, praise God. Um, over the years, I had serious waist pain. It's a congenital issue. So I've gone for series of tests. I live on drugs because yes. of it. So if I drive too much, I'm in serious pain. I enter there with the pain. When you mentioned the case, I was bending down to look for it. I couldn't find it again. Completely bend down. Any pain, bend down. Any pain. Anambra, are you celebrating Jesus? I want to hear Mama's testimony. Yes, please. So my, my problem is in my stomach and on my nose. I, let me free, uh, take the one of the stomach. There was a time I was having stomach problem. They say I went to a teaching hospital and they say it is a prolapse that my womb is dropping, that I will do operation. So I didn't do the operation. I tried pray, you know, and the thing subsided. But this week, the thing came and Saturday they giving me the same things it was giving me. Yesterday, I couldn't. In short, my stomach is relaxed. And what happened now, I Mama? Free. Completely free. Then the one in the nose. March, March last year, 2021, my, my nose started the swelling. It, it, it will swell and we diminish. We swell, and we be burning me so much. Before I came to this program, it, it was doing the same, but now, hey, I am free. In the name of Jesus, look at Mama jumping and celebrating. Praise the Lord. I'm here to thank God for delivering me from brain disorder I had for seven years. Brain disorder. I, I have 
have been on psychiatric drugs. Look at this. My parents are even planning to. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Listen, listen. Young lady, brain disorder. For how long? For seven years. You went to the hospital. Yes. Verify. Yes. I've done scan and x ray. Nothing. They didn't see anything. I continue to be on psychiatric drugs. But to no avail. But tonight, I. What's that song you sing? Turaya Kamara. Come on, you have to pass here. Somebody, if you want to help me. the kind of songs I want you people to bring you. I shouldn't be the one teaching you your songs. You still owe me one song. Hold on. Worship team, advise yourselves. You still owe one song here. Yes, sir. I'm a witness to this. We stay, she's my neighbor, twin duplex. We hear her every night screaming, saying, sometimes she could be talking all through the night. Oh my God. So, my wife, my dear, Say everything I ask you to say. Say hallelujah. Hallelujah. Say Jesus is my savior. Jesus is my savior. I have no business with madness. I, I have no business oh, with come madness. on. Come on, Anambra. Thank you, Jesus. I have no business with madness. They are gone forever in Jesus' name. Let me prophesy to someone. These Egyptians that you see in the name of Jesus, you will see them no more forever. You will see them no more forever. Let's say two or three more. I want to hear the testimonies of these mothers. Yes, please, Sir, very quickly. For a week, he has been having severe chest pain. Severe chest pain. Such that he could not shout. And right now. But right now, he has been shouting. Shout hallelujah. And no pain. Shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Pain gone forever. Pain gone forever. Yes, please. I went to the hospital um, yesterday to see the doctor for ENT because of my truth. Yes. I've been having so much discomfort, especially when I'm praying. Each time I'm praying, I'll have severe pains. So... Are the requests was, here? Please bring them. Bring them. The doctor, if you're yet to submit your request, please wave it so that someone can pick it very quickly. Yes. Ushers, help us. Any other person, please. I wasn't able to see the doctor yesterday, so I heard you are coming. I said I will come here. So I took the money that I will use for the hospital to transport myself here. You came yes. from where, madam? From um, Amobia. I'm, I'm a Catholic, but I, I follow you on Facebook. Yes. So I, I took the money, I came here. I was praying to God for the replacement. In the morning, when I came here in the morning, I was begging God that tomorrow that I will go to the hospital, that I need the replacement. What happened to you in, now? Immediately I got home, I got transferred for people owing me. So I came this evening. My throat that was paining me, severe pains. After prayers, my voice will crack, I cannot talk. But I feel, I felt it, no pains. I'm talking so clear and so loud. Hallelujah. Hallelujah to Jesus. Sir, for over seven months, somebody has been owing him a hundred thousand naira. Someone has been owing you? He has been For how long? Seven months. Right here. What yeah. happened? Right here. Yeah, he sent you your money. Look at this. Look at this. And I will restore unto you the years that the canker worm has eaten. Let me prophesy over someone. Everything that left you, that should not have left you, by the power of prophecy, I call it back to your life now. Let's have two more. Sadly, we cannot take all of them, but here's what I want you to do for me. In tomorrow's session, you can, you can testify. The most important thing is that Jesus came and he visited his people. Hallelujah. Let's have one or two more, very quickly. I had, praise God, I had pneumonia last year, last year, but it was not treated Come properly. Come again. Pneumonia. Last pneumonia. Year. Last year, it wasn't treated properly. But today, I was believing God for my husband. I was even praying for myself. But throughout, whenever I get to a cold environment like this, 
my I'll be having pain in my lungs and then my shoulder blade I can't take a deep breath it's yes. pain in me I've been holding my chest but after the prayers I just remembered I had the pain and checked everything check it has now. gone it has check gone. it check it any pain everything has check gone. your hands no pain no hallelujah pain. Pain. and may the Lord perfect your husband since you stood in for him in the name of Jesus yes please hallelujah I was determined that today that I am not going to go home the same way I came. It says 43 years was broken at this. Come again. I Sikusel. didn't hear that. Sickle cell for 43 Kappa, years. She's under the anointing. What's the issue? You mentioned sickle cell. For oh, sickle cell. For 43 years. 43 years. In the name of the My, power of God is still on her. Yes. Um, um, I have this. When you mention left side lumps, I have it. I've operated it once and it's grown back again. And even when I touched my breast, I feel pain. But right now I can't. I Completely can't. gone. In the name of Jesus, it never returns. Let's have one or two from this very quickly. Yes. I had a in my right hand. You had a lump too? Yes. Right it now. It's disappeared. Yeah. Oh, come on, Anambra. Mighty God. She had a, 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 a tooth pain that affected uh, the left side of her brain. Yes. That she kept on feeling so much pain that she cannot lie down with one side of her head. She always lie down with this. But when you made the declaration, she just noticed that her hair was just free and there's no pain all around Completely. Her head. Completely. She's gone. free forever. Amen. Now, let me hear. Yes, please, very quickly. Yes, she, uh, he cannot look at the light. This is his glasses. Who? Now, the gentleman. The man, yeah. How old is he? How old are you? 12 years. 12 years. What happened to him? Now he can look at the light like he. Oh, he couldn't like look at the light? Yes, sir. Can you see me? Yes, sir. How many fingers? Four. Two. One. Five. Come on now. I broke my arms as at three years old, and each time it do reoccur that I will feel this pain in this arm that I can't even raise it up or raise it down or do anything with it. As at two weeks ago, the thing reoccurred again. And after the prayers, I can now wave, as at this afternoon, I can't wave this hand like this. Wave it I now. Wave it. Let the devil see you waving it. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Now, for all of you who are left, sadly we may not be able to take the testimonies, but to God be the glory. Marvelous things is done in Anambra. In the name of Jesus, those who are here and those who couldn't make it to testify, and all who have been healed and delivered following online, in the name of Jesus, your healing miracles remain permanent. In Jesus' name I pray. Please everyone rise and stretch your hands towards the altar. We are praying right now. In one minute, I want you to begin to pray. Father, this is the moment where you visit me. This is your prayer request. It's the most accurate representation of your desires. Go ahead and pray. Philippians 4 and verse 6. Please give it to us. We are praying now. Philippians chapter 4. Please help this gentleman and ushers. Just bring this request. Any protocol, come up and pick the request so that you drop them properly. Philippians chapter 4 and verse 6. It says to be anxious for nothing, but in everything, by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving. It says, let your requests be made known. Don't assume that God knows it. Let your requests be made known. Everyone here, you wrote this by yourself. This is the most accurate representation of your desires. I want you to begin to pray in one minute. Father, these Egyptians that I see today, I will see them no more forever. Go ahead and pray as I bow my knees to pray over your request. Someone is praying. We just have two or three minutes for this. You are the covenant keeping God. You are the covenant keeping God. Yahweh. 
the covenant keeping God. Yahweh, the covenant keeping God. One more time. Stretch your hands in one minute and begin to declare. Father, the only thing that I will carry from here is answers to prayer. I will never have to write this again. Go ahead and pray. Someone is praying. and declare that every request written here will never have to be written as a request again shout a believing amen hear me anybody who says over his dead body for God to visit you like this the earth will open and swallow them Every human vessel who must come into partnership with the Holy Spirit to make for the answers in this request, I compel their ministry over your life. And hear me, prophetically, I stand upon this request. Everything that has risen above you, I bring it under the feet of Christ. In the name of Jesus. Now hear me very quick. I didn't tell him, but the Lord has put it in my heart. I am going to request our father, Bishop Onubogo. He's going to come and stand here in his capacity as a priest and one who 84 years never visited a hospital. Never been admitted in a hospital. He's going to speak to us, his children, everywhere around the east god has granted me the privilege i cannot begin to tell you about this awesome man of god alongside a number of ministers here that everywhere god sends me provided is around the southeast they will inconvenience themselves and make sure they are there this is why he came at 84. there is a grace that this man carries that somebody's destiny is about to receive now please hear me as he comes whether he speaks in Igbo he speaks in tongues let your heart be open believers are usually um, I think it was it was it was Reverend Obi that said that there, there is need no it's Dr. Cosmas there is need for sensitivity people carry graces but hear me as I prepare to ask daddy to come there is no need cajoling you apostle i need jesus 
I need him now. I need him fast. There are people who are here. You know by the spirit that God has been beckoning on you. There is another category. You are saying, Apostle, I remember giving my heart to Jesus. But as it is right now, my life has gone haywire. I need restoration. These two groups of people, I'm going to count one to three. Run like there's fire on the mountain and come and stand in front of me here. Are you ready? I begin my counting. One. Are you celebrating salvation? Run to Jesus. I have decided to follow Jesus. No turning back. Run to Jesus. No turning back. I have decided to follow Jesus. No turning back. No turning back The cross before me The world behind me No turning back Keep coming to Jesus No turning back The cross before me The world behind me No turning back No turning Come quickly win that war final in your destiny don't say I'm ashamed or don't say there are too many people that you know today that if the trumpet sounds it is not heaven you are going to make your way to Jesus thank you oh my father for giving us your son and leaving your spirit in your work on earth is done. I appreciate every one of you. If you are still joining them, join quickly. And those of you who are watching by television or watching by way of internet, here is your opportunity from Nigeria, from America, from Europe, Africa, here is an opportunity for you to know and to meet Jesus. Right from Anambra states to the nations of the earth, we bring you Jesus, the life of God. We bring you Jesus, the son of the living God. I salute and congratulate all of you here. Some of you are making this decision for the first time. Others are rededicating your life to Jesus. The Bible declares that whosoever comes to him, that he will in no wise cast away. Can I tell you, true revival starts with genuine repentance and conversion. When people are not converted, it says, if my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face, turning from their wicked ways, that I will hear from heaven and I will hear their prayers and heal their land. Lift your right hand, all of you who are in front. I want you to say this loud and clear. You are not reciting a poem. Jesus is here. Say after me, Lord Jesus. One more time, shout it. Say, Lord Jesus. Tonight, I believe in you. I believe that you died for me. I believe that you rose again for my justification. Right now, I decree and declare by the power of the Holy Spirit that I am a child of God I am saved washed by the blood of the Lamb the power of sin Satan hell and the grave is broken over my life from tonight and forever I declare that I am a child of God is someone preparing bishop so that bishop will come and make the decrees even if it's just in a minute he's going to declare that fatherly blessing now I pray for you in the name of Jesus Christ by the authority of Scripture I declare your sins forgiven say amen, amen. I call you by the authority of Scripture recipients of eternal life amen. 
and in the name that is above all names everything that is not of god i command it to give way right now in jesus name i pray amen and amen welcome to a new life in jesus name i pray okay. just an information for you okay please listen carefully you've just done the first step second step friday 5 p.m let me explain salvation to you it will help you many of you who went back it's not because you are not good it's just because you didn't know the right things so 5 p.m friday at garden of grace church that's step number two if you are serious you'll be there garden of grace church is at regina shelley the same boundary with everyday supermarkets just stop regina shelley walk up to everyday supermarkets it's the same wall that separates it there's a mango tree there come there i will explain things that will make you stay with christ the rest of your life hallelujah did you hear so just what you will do now maybe after the prayers just go here okay go here then drop your information make sure you drop okay information. very quickly here's what may i plead that we also bring up uh the pfn chairman okay it was in my spirit to also have him speak these are fathers over the land and you are about to receive something that will open a new gate in your life we have about two three minutes maximize it now for all of you here this is what i want you to do please i want you to feel this legibly as feel it as truthful as you can who do they give it to yes ushers now the ushers. moment you are done feeling it so make sure you pick up one the moment you have one sleep please go back to your seat rejoicing and then um when you feel the sleep don't go with it please just wave it and hand it over to an usher and then friday friday by 5 p.m, 5 PM at garden of grace church. at garden of grace church Every and then you take market. it from there let's celebrate Every them as they go now please rise up on your feet you may have heard me say prophetically that i am a product of many anointings i am a product of the speakings of fathers by the privilege of God's grace and the relationship he has provided and afforded me with the fathers of faith in this nation, I've had the honor and the privilege to be spoken over. And I know what has happened. In fact, um, I think, is, is Dr. Cosma still here? He's gone? Sir, please may I plead that you come and join us. Let's make this equation complete. Even if it is one, one minute to just make decrees as touching all of the graces represented here so we'll do it in this order we'll give our father the pfn chairman the room to speak over your life please receive every blessing as coming from the lord hallelujah and then we will give our father dr cosmos the opportunity to speak over your life hallelujah and then our father bishop would speak over your life a fatherly blessing that everything that is locked up from their heart now you are not only receiving for yourself in your mind bring your family here in your mind bring your business here in your mind bring your ministry here are you ready to receive yes sir in the name of jesus christ i declare that what started today in your life every miracle every encounter you have had here tonight it is going to be from glory to glory amen today is the least you can be from now onwards as i raise my hands over your life over your career over your family over your job let there be multiple explosions for you in the name of Jesus from now onwards Anambra State will become an amazing and awesome place for you to do business for you to live your life for you to do whatever you want to do from here you will fly to nations from here you will go to cities and everywhere you want to reach from today Something new has begun in your life in the name of Jesus. 
Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord, in Jesus' name. I join my faith with the father of faith, an apostle to our generation, to send you back home tonight a different person in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray by the grace of God that everybody that knew you on the negative will not die but who will live and see you in the positive. By the anointing that is upon me as a servant of the Lord. Oh God, if you ever hear me, hear me now. Especially those who made a commitment to Christ today. I did this 49, 48 years ago. And this is the best decision I ever made as a human being. Go back home. When you get back, anybody that cares to know, tell people you are not the same anymore. Don't stop to testify. Let them know that something happened. And they ask you what? Tell them in plain language, Jesus has come into my heart. Father, I pray for these people. Oh God. I want to meet them on the path of success and progress. More importantly, when it is all over, may we meet on the other side of the river. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen and amen. Now, hang on. Let me just do something prophetic. I, I don't know this our father, this man of God here in front, but while that was what I was communicating, the Holy Spirit told me, that I should plead with him to come, please, and join us this man. Yes, sir. I don't know you, but please, can let's honor him as he comes. Is that the best you can do? This is the body of Christ declaring over the territory. May God bless and honor you, sir. Yes, sir. Please receive every prophetic speaking that comes from him as from the Lord. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, there are times and there are seasons. In agreement with all the graces represented here, I join my faith with theirs. And we declare in the name of Jesus that the glory we have begun to see in this place is not ending here. We are impacted by it and we live here to all our spheres of influences to begin to impact our world in the name of Jesus. Yeah. Having met with Christ, we carry light. And this light we have encountered is increasing. And as we grow in the knowledge of the Father and His Christ, grace and peace is multiplied unto us. Daily, in the name of Jesus. We are never remaining the same. We have been partakers of the grace upon Apostle Selman. And we have testimonies that authenticate his apostleship. What you encounter in this meeting will never elude you. In the name of Jesus, go and shine. The word is under your feet. Because of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. And now 
Anambra peace be upon you. Anambra peace be upon you. Anambra peace be upon you. Whatever has been terminated in the past by virtue of men who interceded for this nation, for this state, for Oka, he shall not raise his head again. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name. ago I was ministering in Scotland and I came back from an outreach and I believe those my friends are watching from Scotland tonight they let me rest in an upper room which is one room in their house as I was resting, I felt the presence of God. And the impression in my heart was I was in the, in the, the presence of 2,000 angels. Since I arrived for this meeting, I have been feeling the same way. And they were singing a song. I will stand on and pray for you. Pray for you, my friends listening, and brothers and family listening over the air. And those of you here, I heard the angels sing. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold the Lamb of God that was given, that was given for you and suddenly i felt the presence of two thousand angels tonight you depart here under the guidance of the angels released from heaven and this question of sudden death over an amber state is halted now in the name of Jesus Christ. I cause you to surrender your guns. To surrender your plans of taking away lives. In the name of Jesus Christ. At 84, look at me. Still standing straight. No glasses. Never been admitted in the hospital. Never had surgery. I pray for you. I pray for you. That is your portion. Please, I have nothing to do with it personally. I'm only sharing. Uh, 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 
a, a testimony of what God has done. I, Obi Udezwe Onobogo, have never had headache on this head. I don't know anything called headache. I pray for you. Your headaches around your physical body, around your businesses, around your family, halted now in the name of Jesus. I have appetite every time to eat. I sleep well. I still wake up at 2 a.m. I'm sorry to reveal all this, but the spirit at my age, she wakes me up at 2 a.m. to pray. Receive grace now. Receive grace now. None of you will die before your time. Well, I have five children and 11 grandchildren. My first grandchild, I have told him, I will see my great grand from you. <laughs> Lift up your hands and receive. You will see your own children grow. You will see your grandchildren. Your blood will never be found on the highway. I seize the arms or the, the, the whatever one has intending to attack you, it will not function. Listen to me. Even tonight, you go back to your residences in peace under the provision of the lord under the provision of the lord he has provided for you hunger is not your portion in the name of jesus christ now lift up your hands above your heads you will celebrate your 84th birthday I mean, the louder amen you shout, the more it works for you. Hey! 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 I'm not done. I'm not done. Some of you here will celebrate your 87th year. You will go, you will go to 90 years old. And um, if the Lord tarries, you will see 120. Yeah, as this man of God, the apostle, is fond of critically celebrating elders eldership will be his portion I have prayed to the Lord I want to go to his wedding I didn't hear you I didn't hear you Anambra 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 Southeast Southeast Are you still here? Since he loved us to this level We will also see him His wife, his children And his grandchildren Finally I stand with the first citizen of the church in Anambra State and a known man of God in this city and then an apostle this man is, in a, is an apostle in the marketplace 
Nebana Zoafia Nebana Ajoego Nebana Jordima He is an apostle And I agree with them In declaring The best of you Is yet to come Now Now South East Give the Lord The loudest praise tonight that have happened here let me pray for your spiritual life everything that has eaten up your prayer life everything that has eaten up your watch study life everything that has eaten up your passion and your zeal for God I speak over your life let it be restored now let it be restored now let it be restored now Hear me, any association or group of friends that you have in your life now that will not allow you love the Lord, know the Lord, serve the Lord, right here, we separate you from those associations. I stand under the grace of the Church of the Lord Jesus Christ and the eldership of Anambra. I speak to the two lift gates of this city. Oka! Anambra, hear the word of the Lord. May the two lift gates of this city, Ephata, be open now. Be open for productivity. Be open for evangelism. Be open for development. Be open for business. The sound of untimely death will never be heard in this region again. The sounds of kidnapping, the sounds of bloodshed, the sounds of terrorism, and anything related to it will no longer be heard in your soil. Finally, to the pastor, his wife, and the membership of Garden of Grace, let me speak over your life in the presence of this great man. I stand by the privilege of the apostolic and the prophetic. I stretch my hands towards you, Pastor Obi and your dear wife. In the name of Jesus, I measure a thousand cubits for you in the spirit. Move to deeper levels. May the Lord multiply your influence in this land. And all those connected to this vision who have labored in prayer, labored in giving, may the Lord reward you. In the name of Jesus Christ, Thank you, Jesus. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Wave your hands to Jesus, every one of you. On behalf of all the fathers, our fathers here, the PFN, I sincerely want to communicate my love and my gratitude. Orca, this is my first time here. You have been so loving. You have been so gracious. Thank you, Anambra State. Thank you, Orca. Dearly beloved, I hope you were blessed by this message. Do not keep the video to yourself. Share to as many as you can to help them bless. Check our homepage for more of our messages. Subscribe to the channel. Comment on it. Like it. See you on our next video. Bye. Pray. Pray. Pray for your destiny. The phase of development. Lord, grant me the discipline.